Hey everybody, what is up? Welcome to another Phillips Fam Bam Foodie video! video. <laughs> you guys, today Elijah and I are doing a grocery haul. You guys usually see Danny and me, but Danny is working today and we need groceries. So we're actually just doing a small little haul. It's literally gonna be, we gotta stay $100. $100 dollars or less. So Elijah's gonna help me keep track of the food. Let's see if Elijah can uh, keep me on track with budget. Stuff. Yeah. Pick some pretty good stuff. We'll see what we can get here at Walmart for 100 bucks, you guys. And then when I get home, when we get home, Danny will be home and we will be able to go over all the things that we got. So we're headed inside right now. It's kind of a rainy day, kind of a muggy day. Also, you guys, over on Ooh. Phillips Fam Bam, Go over and check that video out because we take you through Walmart and show you guys all the different spring things. But over here, we are doing a grocery haul. Let's get it done. My hair blends in with the car. It does. What the heck? <laughs> You're a bald boy. I'm bald. <laughs> All right, we made it inside, you guys, and we are in dire need of produce. So a lot of our budget is gonna be spent on produce. Elijah wants some green apples. Not usually impressed with Walmart's produce, but their cucumbers look amazing, and they're only 68 cents each. So we grabbed six of those, and you guys know we're gonna go through them very quickly. You guys should have saw something on camera. It was absolutely amazing. Elijah, Everything... guess the weight of the apples. Yes, yeah, so, and before that I go, if I guess the weight of this apples, I get an extra snack. So she put it on, I turn around, I go three pounds. I turn around, it's three pounds. You and it totally felt... got it. So he so gets an amazing. extra treat today. I get an extra treat. <laughs> guys, we got all of our produce. Well, just for this stock time, we, we're gonna need more. But what do you think, what else do we need? Definitely bread. It's definitely popsicles. Oh my. Guys, I can't take this kid anywhere. <laughs> oh, they're right there, guys. They are right there, so say bye-bye. Double popsicles. Say bye-bye. Guys, I have been hearing so many people talking about the Rhodes uh, cinnamon rolls and how amazing they are. I feel like we need to try them out. All right, you guys, so we are winding down, getting the last few things. We're trying to put things back, get things we need, because we're trying to stay within that $100 budget. So, can you guys see that? We're at 100 but we've been rounding up, yes. so. So, it would probably be like minus like two or three dollars. Yeah. Maybe a little, wait, maybe even minus a little more. Yeah. So I think we'll be good on budget, but it's gonna cut close. It's gonna be cutting it close. And we still have two things we need to get, so we're gonna see what we can do with this budget here. All right, what do you think, dude? Did we stay within budget? This is the I don't moment know. of truth right the here, right now. The calculator said $105. But we rounded up on everything. Everything. So let's see. Even something that was 17 bucks, we rounded it up to 18 bucks. So let's check it out. I'm worried. Me too. Okay, you guys, Elijah and I, we made it back out. Should we tell them if we stayed in budget or not, Elijah? Oh! oh you, know, you guys gotta figure it out once we get home. Bam. All right, guys, so we made it back home and Danny is with us. That's right. Danny, Danny, Danny. Wow. So, should I tell them how if we went over budget or not? Uh, Yeah, let them know. Okay, so Elijah went around. You guys saw like he was on the calculator. We were putting things back. We were grabbing things, putting them back, trying to make sure we stood stayed within budget. And we spent $94. Yeah. We did it. Which just goes to show you that uh, the reason why we always go over budget is because of Danny. <laughs> yeah, <all right. laughs> just kidding. So you guys, ninety-four dollars. <laughs> oh no, Santa Claus is here. <laughs> Santa, where are you? <laughs> so you guys, we got, I feel like we got quite a bit for a hundred dollars. The reason why we're doing a hundred dollar haul right now is just to kind of hold us over until our Costco haul. Yes. So, cause we do need to make it back to Costco. So I didn't want to get crazy amounts of things, but we did need a few things to hold us over until then. Cause we didn't really want to go during the weekend. So anyways, let me show you guys what we got. We got Red Baron pizzas Ooh, because it is soccer season. And I'm like, you know what? This could be a quick lunch, quick dinner, something quick. Just pop it in and go. So we got the thin and crispy pepperoni pizza and the four meat pizza. I knew Elijah was with you for, to pick that one out. Oh yeah, I almost got cheese and pepperoni. He's like, how about we get the pepperoni and the meat? I was <laughs> he like, He loves okay. the four meat. He does, he loves it. So there's that. Also, you guys, if you notice Tina's sweatshirt, some of you have asked before, yes. where do we get it on your website? Where do we get it? It's not from us. Yes. It's Kesley Leroy's 
merch yes. and you've got to go get it. We'll put the link in the description below. But this reminded us of Nana when we saw it. And yeah, it's a great sweatshirt. So if you guys are interested, uh, we'll put the information down below. Go check it out. It literally is one of my favorites. Yeah. I love it. So, okay, moving on, you guys. We got the bread. They do not have Grandma Sycamore bread at that Walmart. So, close I, to it. <laughs> this looks like it. And I'm like, sometimes you can feel like the worth of bread just by doing this. Because oh. sometimes bread feels very uh, light and airy. And I'm oh. like, mm, not about that. But, so, I must have great worth. Because you're heavy? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> Me too, don't worry. <laughs> well, with, you're lightening up. The you're light. lightening up, baby. Light. <laughs> so, you guys, just for some sandwiches, these were $1.98 a loaf. So Not too shabby. Not too bad. So we got two loaves of that. Then we have run out of tortillas. So we got the Tortina Land Tortinas. I don't know if you guys knew you could get this there, but you can. Yes. It's over by the cheese. It's not in the freezer section where you would think it would normally be. It's over by the cheese. It's okay. At least at our Walmart. There, at our Walmart, that's where it's at. So, tortinas. We got about 60 in here. So you guys, boom. and those are so good. Actually, 18. I don't know why. I said those are oh, second 16. best to the Fresca at they're um, both, Costco. They're honestly they're the same to me. So you guys saw that I picked these up. I had to get these because everyone has been talking about them. This, the Rhodes Rolls cinnamon rolls. Apparently they're so good, so delicious, and super easy. I'm trying to see. I think you just pop them in the oven. They're cinnamon rolls with cream cheese frosting. Ooh. So I don't know, you guys. I'm gonna try them out. We'll let you guys know how they are. Let us know in the comments if you guys have ever had these before, but they look good. Wow, they're how good. many are there? There's um, 12 rolls in here. Okay, there's two for each of us. So that'd be fun, like little maybe, you know, a Sunday morning breakfast or something like that. That is an amazing idea. Yes, I know. <laughs> okay, so there's that. Then we got some green apples because... Ooh, no honey crisp. Nope, the other apples were not looking to fly. Oh yeah, you went to Walmart. So, yeah, but honestly, I was saying earlier, their produce looked better today than it has like in forever. So I was kind of impressed. The apples though, on the other hand, they weren't looking too great, but the... The green apples were looking really good. So okay. Elijah's like, let's get some green apples. Nice, and I heard, and I haven't tried it yet, but I do like peanut butter on my green apples, but a lot of people have said, try cookie butter oh. on green apples. And it'll take, do that face again. Wow, that's probably <laughs> really good. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, that's good. <laughs> Eat cookie butter <laughs> or apples? I love apples. Oh. Are you kidding? I do. I love cookie butter too, but okay. I try to stay away because I'm trying to be good. You know what I'm saying? So you got cinnamon rolls? <laughs> yes, they're not for me. They're for, every, they're for everybody else. They're not for me. I still have days where I will eat something cookie butter sweet. on apples. Yeah, or a cinnamon roll. <laughs> so, all right, there's that. Then, speaking of being good, boom. Nice. Guys, me and Emberlyn are obsessed with these. They are so good. I just grabbed the sweet mini peppers. It's like a mix of the red and the yellow and the orange. Put it, dip it with a little bit of cream cheese. Nothing but the bagel seasoning. Bam. You guys have been sending me your pictures on Instagram of you guys doing it and you guys love it too. That's awesome. So it's really cool. And you guys, we have some sweet, um, sweet peppers that we're growing over in the garden over there yes. in the corner. Yes, yes. indoor garden. Comment down below if you've ever grown sweet peppers before. How long do they take to grow? It's actually not a sweet pepper. It's a, well, it is sweet, but it's the green ones. And I feel like the green ones are supposed to get like big, oh, right? Oh, yeah. But it's taken, that one's taken a little while. Yeah, I'm just curious like what the norm is on that. Yeah. Same with jalapenos. Yeah. Okay, and then we got some little limes because you guys know we love our limes with our cucumbers. So we just grabbed a bag of those. And then... And you guys, keep in mind, as we're going through all this, this was $94. I know. I feel proud. I'm like, we stuck to budget, and we actually got quite a few things that will just kind of last us through the next little bit. So... And also, let us know if, when, whenever... Because we do, like, small little hauls like this pretty frequently mm -hmm. um, in between bigger ones. Do you guys want to see them? Yeah. Let us know. This let is us, kind of a trial Sometimes we're it. like, yeah, we're like, oh, it's just we only got a few things here and there. 
we'll film it if you guys want to see it. But like sometimes we'll go to the store and get more produce or different things like that we run out of and we don't film it. So just let us know. Um, beef broth. I got this because I had literally everything for uh, goulash, goulash except this. So I was like, we have to grab this because I haven't made goulash in a little while for the kids and they love it. So beef broth there. Then I did get an extra thing of meat. I only got one because when we go to Costco, I like to buy the big pack of it. Oh, yeah. It comes like in a pack of like five or something. So plus this is the, one of the last things we got. And I was like, ooh, is this going to put us over budget? I didn't know. So you guys so, know this is just a holdover haul. That's and we what it have is. more meat in the freezer, but I wanted this just to like, if we want to do tacos and goulash during the week or, you know, whatever. Yeah. So this is just holding us over to the big one. Yes. Um, okay, and then you guys, I showed you the cucumbers at Walmart. I was very impressed wow. because, okay, they were 68 cents, which is still not as what? good as Winco, but decent. Um, but they had really good ones, you guys. Like these look really good and they're not like squishy. Like usually when I go to Walmart, the cucumbers are squishy and nasty and gross. These ones are actually really good. So yeah, those look legit. Yeah, we got six of those. And then what else did we get? Oh, we got some asparagus because you guys know the kids have been loving it. Yeah, even Elijah. Ethan absolutely loves it. Danny made it the other night with olive oil and... Butter and a little bit of the marinade from... Oh, from uh, the... From the carne, carne asada. asada. Yeah, so, and they loved it. They ate right through it. So I just grabbed some more because I'm like, Psh, we can get veggies in them, guys. That's... Especially Ethan. Ethan's kind of like Danny. They don't love their veggies. <laughs> we do. Ethan and I actually love steamed broccoli, steamed carrots. We love all of that. So I don't know what, what you're getting at. I think you need to make it. I might need to make it. <laughs> but no one else eat, will eat you that. You don't like we, steamed, so you don't make it. I don't. I don't like steamed. I hardly ever make it. I need to. See, I we love to. it. I love stir fry. See, here's the thing. Danny likes everything cooked, I think, and I like everything raw. So guess what we get? So we we just, get it raw. Yeah. So we get the raw <laughs> one. Sorry. Well, if you want to make dinner and make your own oh. stir fry, just kidding. <laughs> no, actually, I should pick up some broccoli and stuff and do a little stir fry for you guys. Okay, fine, I will. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, so you guys, I did grab a thing of spring mix lettuce. We haven't had to buy lettuce in a very long time. I know. Because I'm we surprised. have it in our garden. But the reason why I grabbed it is because we just cut it all and made a massive salad for dinner the other night. And so we're waiting for it to grow back. Actually, I've got some more butterhead lettuce little cubes that we can put in the garden. Perfect. That way we'll get more at a time. Yeah, so Amber and I will go through and we'll just cut it all down and then make a big old salad out of it. And then, yeah, and then we're out of it until it grows back. So, yeah, so this go is check the out. first time in a while that I've had to buy like lettuce. lettuce. So go check out yesterday's vlog on Fam Bam because yes. Tina and Amberlynn cut the tomatoes that grew. Yes. We'll show you guys the jalapenos, the peppers, and they cut the salad. So if you guys are curious on how that is for our indoor garden, you gotta go check out yesterday's it's vlog. It's actually been really awesome, this little garden we have. So anyways, there's that. And then of course you guys know, I have to get some avocados, which I was actually impressed with the size of these avocados because they're it's not bad. Is Walmart stepping up their game I don't or know, what? For now, I feel like it's hit or miss. Like sometimes it's really good and then most of the time it's not. Okay. <laughs> so anyways, we got four here, which I just like to throw these on my salad. No one else really eats these, maybe here and there, but they're mainly for my salads. Um, and then we also got some strawberries, which actually look really good too. Wow. Do those not look good? So good. Yeah. They're not Driscoll's, but they look They're good. They're not, but they looked amazing and they were like eight bucks. Oh, okay. They're a lot. Strawberries are a lot. Okay, next up, you guys, we wanted to get a little snack. Elijah was basically like, we have to get these. So we got them. We got the flavor blasted goldfish. Once you've had the flavor blasted. Oh, you can't go back. You can't go back. It just, they taste so plain. So anyways, we grabbed that. Then I got some lemon pepper, you guys, because yum. I'm going to put this on my stuff. Okay, wow. My pepper, I was trying to think, what am I putting this on? My peppers with the cream cheese, because uh -huh. we're almost out of everything bagel seasoning. So this is a good. Everything but the bagel. What did I say? Everything bagel. Everything bagel, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, I got this because it's really good on everything. It's even good on avocados. It's good on the peppers. 
It's good. Actually, it would be good on the asparagus, asparagus too. So grab that. Then also grab some true lemon, uh, the lemonade raspberry kind that basically me and Ethan drink. So really good. It's like a dollar something, like a dollar 30 or something. Then we got just a little bag of cheese to hold us over till we get our Costco big bag of cheese. So we are going through that a lot. I'm dang impressed with you guys. That's I not know. too bad. We did so good. I'm so, I'm so glad. Um, and then hard salami. Elijah wanted this. He says, that's my favorite salami. Yes. We've been getting like the smaller salamis, ooh. but he wanted this one. So why do you say ooh? Oh, because I think some of the small ones have like little peppers. Some, some of them do, yeah. And then Elijah also requested some buttermilk waffles for in the morning. They're just kind of a quick morning breakfast, you guys, when I don't want to make my gourmet breakfast, which I don't, so. Yep. <laughs> There's that. And then we also got this Elijah really wanted these Ooh. Otter Pops. Well, basically Otter Pops, but these ones come frozen. Oh, okay. Not in the box oh. that you have to wait for them. And I feel like they're bigger than the normal Otter Pops. Good call. That would sell. That that probably sells quite a yeah, bit. Yeah. So this was like $2.98 for all of these. I'm sure the other ones are cheaper, but I'm like, dang, they're already frozen. The only thing I hate about these though is the little, when you cut it off, those little plastic pieces are everywhere. Well, the kids should just cut it in here and throw it away. Well, no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying is they're everywhere because oh, they man. are children. So anyways, we got this pack and then we also got a 40 pack of waters, which is still in the car. And then that's everything we got, you guys. Wow. That's literally, right? Yeah, that's everything. So I'm going to say we did pretty dang good. $94 I think so too. for all of that stuff that's going to get us a couple few meals throughout the week, some produce, different things like that. So. So that's it, you guys. That was our Walmart haul for under a hundred dollars. Yes, on a Did budget. Pretty dang good. Yes, so. and stay tuned for tomorrow. We have new Wendy's taste test, some new Ooh. Wendy's items. So stay tuned for that here on the Foodies. Yeah, you got to check that out. Yeah, make sure you guys check that out. And that's it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and don't forget choose, choose your day. day.